Who else makes weird faces when they're doing mascara? Hi guys, so I'm Tana for those of you who are new and a while ago I did a little drugstore haul and I picked up a bunch of makeup actually from Walmart. But anyway, I did that and it's all drugstore makeup and I wanted to kind of tell you guys my thoughts and opinions on some of the products I picked up. So today I did my full face of Rimmel London everyday kind of look because that seems to be all I've been wearing is the Rimmel London stuff that I picked up. So these are going to be the products that I use all the time. These are the products that I like and I'll probably be telling you guys why I like them. So this is my everyday Rimmel London look I guess you would say and it's very simple, very easy for me and before I get into this and show you guys what I do, I am in no means trying to show you guys how to apply the makeup because I could be doing it completely wrong. I'm just telling you guys my thoughts, my opinions, and showing you guys what I do for every day. For those of you who are new though, make sure to go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. They're going to be linked down below and they're going to pop up like here. And then make sure to subscribe and then hit that little notification bell to be notified when I upload next. Okay, on to the video. Onto the video. So might as well start off with putting my hair up, get it all out of the way, and we'll go from there. First, I'm going to start off with this. It's the Ruma London 8 Hour Plus Long Lasting Makeup Primer. And I've used this a lot. It is supposed to be day proof, pore minimizing, it's supposed to even skin tone, and it's basically like a cream. So I just put it on my face and then I rub it in. With this, a little goes a very long way. So don't go starting to put a bunch on because then you're gonna look like you're up a sunscreen face. That's what I did the very first time and my face was just completely white. So because I have very thin and sensitive skin, anytime I put like a moisturizer or anything on my face, it goes a little red, so that's how come it looks a little red with the primer. So anyway, I've had no problems with this primer. I really like it. It lasts a long time. It makes your face feel really refreshed. It leaves your face really soft even the next day. You could basically even use this for a moisturizer if you wanted to. I've done it before, and like I said, a little goes a long way. So it was $8, and it's lasted me a long time. So I would definitely pick this up again. So then I'm going to go in with the Aruma London Long Lasting Finish. It's supposed to be 25 hours, that's how long it's supposed to last for, and it's supposed to be like a full coverage foundation. So this is in the shade 100 Ivory, and what's nice is it's a glass bottle, and it has a pump and a nice lid. So I use about three pumps worth, and I find that it is like full coverage. It's not like completely, completely full coverage. It's very, very buildable, I know that. I have no problems with this one. So typically I do two pumps and then I kind of go over my face. I do the last pump and kind of just go once more on my face to make sure I have everything and to make sure it's all kind of even and covered. What I then usually end up doing is taking like the side of my beauty blender, which is usually less like gross, and kind of just going along my face just to pick up any of the excess, take it off, make sure it's all even, just like that. I do need to clean these big time. So like I said, it's usually only three pumps. I find with the Rimmel London ones, the color for your skin matches pretty well. And I find that what color you see in the model is the actual color that you get, which is nice. And about a pump is like a lot, so I do use three pumps, which gives me decent coverage. If you wanted more coverage, you could use more. And it is buildable to me. I don't find it very dewy, which is nice, but it's not too matte. It's almost like just in between, which is perfect. I have a combination of oily and dry skin. Works well with the both of them. 
it doesn't make your oily skin more oily and it doesn't make your dry skin like flaky so if you're looking for a good foundation for combination skin check out that one then i go in with my concealer and this is in 125 fair and it is the match perfection two-in-one skin adapting concealer and highlighter i only use this basically for concealer a little bit of highlighter but nothing crazy because it's basically just like a day-to-day -day look that i do with all the rimmel london stuff what I like about this is how it's very, very light and it does make your under eyes kind of pop and kind of hide the bags under my eyes and it hides like the kind of veins above my eyes. And what I like to do is just add this as like highlighter to kind of add a little bit of a glow to my face. It's not dewy, but it's not matte. It adds a really nice pop. So I just put it like a triangle underneath my eye. The one thing that I really do not like about this though is how I don't like the brush of it. I really don't because I find it wastes a lot of product and if you keep it in there it hardens. So that's what I don't like about it. I then put just a little bit, just enough on my eyelids because I do have very thin skin above my eyelids as well. I then just take a little more and kind of put it here just to kind of lighten everything up and to kind of just make sure that none of the product is left on the brush. There. So what I do is I usually start with my eyes and I take the pointy side and I start to go in and just dab it lightly. And then take my finger and kind of just go over it. And I do the same to the other side. So once my under eyes are done, I then go on to my nose and just blend all that out. I then take the side with a little bit of foundation and kind of push on in just to kind of blend it together. And then I go on top of my eyes and just kind of blend it nicely. Dab it a bit just to kind of spread it. Just like that. And then I just kind of dab out the rest of it. So once I have like everything done, what I like to do is basically just go over it one more time and make sure that everything is good. I typically tend to take another one which doesn't have as much stuff on it because I need to clean these and just go over it with the longer side and just make sure everything is blended and everything isn't kind of funny looking. Like that and then what I do is I just take the sponge with the little bit of highlighter and foundation and kind of dab it just under my chin and neck so when I look up and around I don't have those weird marks. Alright, so if you guys watched my drugstore video, I was complaining that this was not a lot for $14. You do not need a lot of it, I didn't know that and the first time I did it I took a whole brush full, put it on and it was like, oh my god. Here are two things I do with translucent powder, it's just for me just because of my dark circles under my eye. So, I take a big powdered brush and lightly go into it and that's about all I take and I then put it just onto my face and then I just go on my face with it very lightly because of the dark circles under my eye what I like to do is take just a little bit on the beauty blender and I like to just make sure to dab it actually onto my eye like that, just like this, and dab it. And then take a little more and just go up kind of above my eye. Same with here. Just take a little more and go above my eye. So this is how it looks just by itself. I can never do this though without going in with the mascara. So this is the Wonder Lash Mascara with Argan Oil in it. I absolutely love this one. If you're looking for a good mascara, pick it up. It works very, very well. 
I love it and I have did a video of it. It's probably gonna be like right here, I would say. A little card. So anyway, I'm gonna go in with my mascara and we're gonna go from there. Who else makes weird faces when they're doing mascara? <laughs> so and that sums up all of this for you guys. Very simple, very easy, very plain. This is basically what I wear day to day. I do not have time to spend 30 minutes on doing makeup. This usually just takes me five to seven minutes to do it. And probably because I was filming, it took a little longer. By no means, I'm saying this again, I'm, this is not what I'm telling you guys to do. I could be doing it completely wrong, but I'm showing you guys what I use because I really like these products. I told you I was going to give you guys my opinions and my thoughts on them, so this video kind of does that for you guys. It shows you kind of my everyday makeup go-to, and it basically just shows you guys what I use and everything like that. So if you guys have any tips or suggestions in the comments below, leave them for me. And like I said, it's not for you guys to go ahead and keep doing this. I could be doing it wrong. I don't really don't care. It's how I do it. It doesn't take me long and it works for me. I find it looks fine. So we're going to go with it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me comments down below on tips and tricks if you want or a good product you recommend me pick up next. And I will see you guys next time. But before you leave, make sure to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My Snapchat, they're all going to be linked down below. They should pop up like right here. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for when I upload next.